I could stand here and tell you how much I love you, but those words mean nothing unless they're shown through repeated little love, little things that we do together. So I'm here to vow to you, uh, to celebrate with you when uh, the Jets win and blame Todd Bowles for everything when they lose. <laughs> 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 I vow, I vow to keep you, reminding you that Taco Bell is unhealthy if you eat there by yourself. <laughs> but we can always go to uh, Big Woody's for dollar wings <laughs> and, and Bud Lights. <laughs> I vow to stay silly, to never take ourselves too seriously, and stay just immature enough until Raymond pees in the house. I vow to trust and value opinion. I vow to travel beside you through all our life adventures. I vow to always keep you fighting for us because I know we can overcome and uphill battles with my, my face. And lastly, I vow that I will choose you every day a million times over, not because I have to, but because I love you. <laughs> I, Kevin, take you, Maggie, as my lawfully wedded wife and co-captain in our wild and crazy adventures we call life. I vow from this day forward to love you in sickness and in health, richer or poor, for better or worse, or even when you eat me in cards. I promise to stay truthful, faithful, and very gestoso. I vow to always protect you and love you and Melissa with all my heart, power, and strength. I promise to always be your master chef and make sure you are always well fed like a good Kravitz. It's amazing how one day someone walks into your life and suddenly you can't remember how you live without her. Maggie, you are my favorite person in this world and my best friend. There's nothing I want more than to have you, Maggie Demora, Valgari, to be part of my life, world, family, and life. Maggie and Kevin have brought us together here for an occasion of great joy and a great cause for celebration. Having found each other, they have built the kind of relationship that will serve them well as the foundation for their marriage. They have chosen each one of you to be here with them to witness their wedding vows as they join together as husband and wife. Each of us knows that a marriage is not created by a law or a ceremony, rather it occurs in the hearts of two human beings. It grows out of loving, caring, and sharing ourselves with another. This ceremony is not magic. It will not create a relationship that does not already exist and has not already been celebrated in all the commitments Maggie and Kevin have made to each other, both large and small in the days since they first met and recognized their connection to one another. So in witnessing the ceremony today, we are observing only an outward sign of an inward union that already exists between Maggie and Kevin. The ceremony is a symbol of how far they have come together and a symbol of the promise that they will make to each other to continue their lives together and to love each other solely and above all others. There are only two official witnesses at a wedding, but each and every person here today will witness the words that they will speak to one another and the vows that they will make. Maggie and Kevin will need you to stand with them, for a marriage needs the help of a community of friends and family who will be there when needed and will do all that they can during the good times and the hard times and offer their support to them in the new family that they create today. Maggie and Kevin, please take a moment, look at your surroundings, look at the beautiful beach, listen to the ocean, and turn around and look at your family and friends. Feel the love and support of everyone who is here to come and celebrate you both today. Take a moment. Breathe it all in. This day is going to go by very fast, and we need to really reflect and take this moment. Soak it in. It's beautiful. You guys look fantastic.
you forever and endlessly, Mom, and I thank you for giving me such an amazing life filled with love. Kevin, you are extremely smart, compassionate, hardworking, loyal, and hilarious. I can't help but thank you enough for being my second dad and teaching me all the concepts of our world, watching out for me in every situation, and giving me uncontrollable laughs. I love you, Kev. Maggie, you're such a strong woman. Ah, uh, so friggin' spontaneous. And you know that. Independent, funny, a beautiful woman, and I'm proud to be your sister. Some of you may not know, Kevin and I are each other's first call every day. We wake up and we give each other, whoever wakes up first normally is the one who makes the call. He's just happy. And uh, I've never seen him like this. I, I, I've known him his whole life. I was part of his misery from probably three to 15. But I, now he's really happy. And you finally found your match. You both have a common bond to make your marriage last. You searched and searched and finally found a wonderful girl for sure. Your love and your devotion will make your marriage endure. Maggie, we're so lucky to have you in our clan. You sure keep Kevin busy and you always have a plan.